Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. Today is August 7th, 2023, and we're gonna talk about some new knives. Let's do it. First knife on the table is the new Benchmade Ohm, new for this year, and I think this is their everyday carry OTF if I've ever seen one. What I really like about this is how it doesn't feel like a tactical knife. A lot of OTFs generally default to tactical, but the Ohm definitely feels like an everyday carry sort of fidgety knife, and a lot of people out there just love OTFs. They're fun, they are a great conversation starter, you can be at the bar and then you could be like, hey girl, check out my knife. Don't do that. Please do not do that. I beg of you, do not do that. But this is a cool knife and it isn't a super thick blade. It's a nice slicey S30V steel. It's got the aluminum handle. It's got a 2.5 inch blade, so it's not huge. It's not gonna be obtrusive. You can bust this thing out and you're not gonna scare anybody off. And a 5.875 inch overall, super small, super light, premium USA made quality from Benchmade. These are going for 324 right now. You should pick one up because they're really cool. Next up, we have new from Best Tech, the Best Techman Mini Dundee. I already just grabbed the first box I saw and happened to be this pink one. Very exciting. Gotta love that pink G10. Uh, this one's got the 2.9 inch blade and a seven inch overall length. So it's perfect everyday carry size. Just enough blade to get through whatever job you're doing, but not so much that you're gonna scare the neighbors or anything. And plus, what neighbor was ever scared of a pink G10 handle? Can't think of one. I love the Dundee series. These are really fun because of their just slick action. Very nice ball bearings running. Slick flipper as well. A very fun pivot collar here. Just a great knife all around. 42.90 gets you D2 steel. It's a, it's a great knife all around. Next up, new from Spyderco, we have the Endura with the satin finished CPM M4 blade and the mint FRN handles. So, full disclosure, these are dropping this upcoming Thursday, August 10th. Get them then. You can't get them right now, but when you when they come, I would recommend pouncing on it because these M4 blades come and then they go. You can't stick around for too long. And if you don't love these handles, you can dye them, you can replace them. There's a lot of different colorways you can go with it but the Endura is one of Spyderco's first knives. In fact, it's one of the knives that pioneered the concept of an FRN handle. And here you can get it in this super tough CPM M4 steel that has excellent retention as well. If you're the kind of person who likes a patina on their blade, may I recommend this guy as well, because that uncoated M4, it'll turn all kinds of colors when you cut acidic stuff with them. In fact, I've met people who will deliberately get a knife like this and they'll just go get a great big bag of lemons and slice them to see what their knife looks like afterwards. It's a lot of fun. And it, it's a knife that becomes distinctly yours the more you use it. These are going for $129.95, which for that much M4 is a really good deal. I'm excited about these. Pick them up when they come because once they're gone, they're gone. Next up, new from CRKT, we have the Collet. I, I must confess, I'm like, oh look, a CRKT pen. That's cool, CRKT is a knife company. I don't think their pens are especially what puts bread on the table for the folks over at CRKT, but that might change with this pen right here. So in, it weighs 1.1 ounce total, so it feels very light in the hand until you open it and you magnetize it here. It's a magnet that detains the cap there when it posts, and now it feels a lot heavier. And I personally like the feeling of a heavy pen up here because it makes your tip feel so controlled. It makes it so like little jerks or little movements aren't gonna throw your writing off. You're gonna have nice, clean handwriting. It's got a Schmidt Easy Flow in there and a tungsten carbide tip. So it's not gonna bend on you. It's just a very, very premium feeling pen and I am very much enjoying it as a just everyday carry thing. I might have to get me one, especially for their price, $44.95. Getting you that full aluminum body, that magnetic posting cap, and of course the tungsten carbide tip and a very nice refill for it. Excellent, excellent work, CRKT. This pen is top quality, and I'm used to saying that their knives are top quality, and they are, but the pen. Keep up the good work, CRKT. Next up from Petrified Fish, we have the Scaler? Scholar? It's a Swedish word. It means scales. If you speak Swedish, please tell me how to pronounce this. But this knife is a bit more of a premium take from Petrified Fish. You're getting a 154cm blade, a lock back, but you're getting a bearing pivot in a lockback, which you don't see very often. But it makes for a very slick action, makes for, dare I say, a, 
flicky action on a lockback. So you're getting all the strength of a lockback, but all the smooth action of a liner lock. Very cool. 154 CM blade, kind of in a kukri sort of shape, especially when you hold it in the hand. It gives you a really nice kukri vibe. Uh, I don't know that I would chop with it per se, but you probably could. But it would definitely give you a nice, easy access to that tip if you're trying to do some like pry and staples or whatever. And I like this one with the olive wood handle, but you can also get it with iron wood. These are very pretty knives, in my opinion. I'm very much enjoying them. Great knife all around. $82.99 to get you this one. Got a 3.6 inch blade, 7.75 inch overall length. And then next up from Petrified Fish, we have the Hummingbird. And this right here is one of the more bizarre knives I've ever seen. So it's got a titanium frame and an M390 blade, so very premium, and that earns it its price point, $96.95 for this little guy. But this one, I think, poses a philosophical question for knives, because I was looking at blade length, a lot of people in the comments have been asking, can you please tell us blade length? And I've been trying to do that today. But this one has a blade length that is a bit challenging to measure, because according to the AKTI, the American Knife and Tool Institute, I have their definition right here. It is the shortest straight line extended from the tip of the blade to the forwardmost aspect of the hilt or handle rounded to the nearest 1 8th inch. So by that definition, it's from the furthest most portion of the handle to the furthest most portion of the blade. So that right there is an inch, but you have a lot more than that of a cutting edge. So according to the AKTI on this knife, this little hummingbird right here, your cutting edge is longer than your blade. An interesting conundrum. Nonetheless, I do really like this knife, and I'll tell you why. This thing gives me very much exacto knife vibes. So when it's closed, it's nice and slim in the pocket. It's just a small knife. Throw it on your keychain, even. But then when you open it, you can hold it like a pencil, like this, and you can cut very easily with it. And I, 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 I kind of end up puppetry on the side. This would be great for making puppets with. Never thought I'd be like, yeah, this is the best puppetry knife, but here we are. This is a great puppetry knife. But it's also great for opening packages or cutting zip ties or doing what other, other, ever, whatever other small tasks that are before you. Excellent, excellent work, Petrified Fish, for making a truly unique little knife. You should check these out. They're really cool. And last on the table, new from Gerber, we have the Assert. And this one has a three inch blade, about a seven overall, seven inch overall length, reversible deep carry pocket clip, the, I guess they're calling this the pivot lock, and thumb stud opener that's adjustable. Um, I think we all know what kind of knife they're going after here. And if you want something that's a little bit more contoured to the hand, then I would, I would say this one's a really solid option. It's made in the USA. It's got a really sharp edge. It's got a nice sharpening choil right here, so it's gonna be easy for you to take care of. It's got a bit of a clip point blade. It's a great knife all around. It goes for $175.99. It's a solid knife. I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, that's new knives for the week. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your belief is on edge length versus blade length, if you agree with the AKTI. That's what we post on the website. When I was trained as a copywriter, they handed me the AKTI directions for measuring knives, and that's how I've measured knives, and that's how they're listed on the website. So let me know. Do you like that? Do you not like that? We'll see. Anyway, we love you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>